big ones, small ones, for any gnomes or fairies that might live in her frog pond. making houses for imaginary people she didn't even notice the real things living nearby
their caravan was cramped, but their field was not. It curved over the dry earth and arched its back to the sky. in her field grew so high that when the wind blew you could hear it but not feel it. Laying there on a bent and folded raft of grasses, enjoying a little space alone, a little sense of place. Sometimes, if you stay still long enough, the space in your head becomes the space in the sky. You wouldn't think that a little girl who spent so much time making houses enjoying time alone space near her home. You wouldn't think that she would go so far away. But she did.